Hello, it's Karen Berniston here with an assembly video for one of our die sets. This is die number 1187, The Monkey and Lion, and you can check out all of our die designs at KarenBerniston.com. The set includes 11 individual dies, and if you are at all familiar with any of our other animal or character sets, you're going to find this assembly very similar. If you have a small die cutting machine, this die set will fit, so I'm using my Dress My Craft Easy Cuts machine. So I'm starting here with the lion, and on the piece that cuts the lion itself, there is a stencil feature on the die. So after die cutting, just leave the paper in the die, or put it back in the die if it fell out. And then my favorite is a Statler Tripless Fine Liner, and I'm using a black one to do the eyes and the nose and the mouth, and then there's also some little claws lines on the feet. Then I'm switching to a pink pen for the centers of the ears, and a light brown color for the highlight of the tail. So when we're working small like this with little animals, it's much nicer to just be able to stencil the face on than having to try and glue on little tiny eyes and noses. And I drew in little claws marks for the front legs as well. The mane for the lion comes on a separate piece, and for that one I'm just going to add glue around the perimeter and then there are some flat spots that line up with the ears, so it's pretty easy to get good placement on that mane. And I do love my glue because it will dry clear. So that's Lineco Neutral pH Adhesive in my fine tip bottle. We do sell both of those items on our website. There is a little heart that comes in the set that looks cute when the lion is holding it, optional of course, and then there is a crown for when you want to make some King of the Jungle cards. And also completely optional, but sometimes it looks cool to add some catch lights to the animal's eyes, so that would just be a white gel pen to put a little dot. And I love bonus ideas, so here's how you might style a lioness with the set. So there's a circle in the set that's used to make the monkey's belly, and that can stand in as a snout. So the first thing I'm going to do is just stencil the nose and the mouth from the lion die onto a piece of cardstock. Then I just cut that out using the circle die, and I will tape that in place so it doesn't move since I'm trying to have it aligned with the stenciling that I did. And I'll also cut out the lion itself. So since I'm adding a snout, I only need to do the eyes for the face and then the feet, ears, and tail. I'm going to brush the snout with a little bit of brown ink to give it some contrast, and then I'll glue it to the face. And I'm drawing some claws and some eyelashes, and then adding some rosy cheeks with a pink pencil. I'll use my white pen to add catch lights to the eyes and a little spot of white to the nose, and then I'm going to have her holding a sparkly gold heart. To accessorize the monkey, the die set includes a vine and two bananas. Then for the monkey itself, there is a body and a head and then a head overlay and a belly. Just like with the lion, there is a stencil feature to do the face, so I like to use a black pen to do the eyes, nose, and mouth, and then a pink pen for the centers of the ears. And then to the head, there is an overlay piece, so I just coat that with adhesive, and then I can just line it up and glue it on. Then I'll add rosy cheeks with a pink colored pencil and some catch lights with a white gel pen. If you want to pose your monkey so that you're looking at the front, then I would typically add the belly piece to the body, and then you're in charge of what angle you add the head, and of course you can just vary that to have different monkeys with different poses. And I'm having this monkey hold a banana. You can also pose the monkey so that he's hanging from his tail. In that case, I wouldn't use the belly because you're technically looking at the back of the monkey and just glue the head on to the body. And once again, I'm going to add a banana. Now you can change this pose as far as this arm over here goes too, because sometimes you may prefer to take that arm off, flip it over, and then just glue it behind the head at whatever angle you like, and then both arms will be pointed downwards. It's nice to have the head separate from the body so that you can change up the poses, so that you can use multiple monkeys, for instance, off of the same vine, and they don't all look identical. So that is the basic assembly of the lion and monkey with bonus lioness. Here's a card where I used the monkey on the front of the card and it has the mailbox pop up on the inside. Now I could have even added a monkey maybe to the inside that would travel with the pop up. That would be a cute look as well. And then here's a card by Kelly Booth. It says, wild about you, no lion. And I just love that she made the lion out of pinks. And then she also used little googly eyes instead of stenciling the eyes. 
Karen Aiken made this little monkey card. I like that the monkey is out of pink. And she's also used it inside and created shadows for the different pieces by cutting them out of black as well. Another card by Kelly with some monkeys on the inside. And what a cute idea to use googly eyes and the heart over the belly. And then here's a card I designed for a class where it has a monkey on the outside and then two spinning monkeys on the inside using the mailbox pop-up mechanism. And I love to end assembly videos with a few cards by our very talented design team. This is such a cute barrel of monkeys card by Fran Sabad. Kelly Booth added a monkey to her heart collage pop-up card. A super cute pink lion on this card by Karen Aiken. And then a monkey-infused mailbox card by Kelly Booth. The monkey and lion die set is available now from a lot of your favorite local and online retailers, as well as from our website, karenberniston.com. Thanks for watching. If you click on the website link, you'll go to karenberniston.com, where you can purchase these dies as well as find links to our other social media accounts. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out some of my other videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.